All right, hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Does It Toggle here on the DevCycle Twitch channel. My name is Andrew. I am super excited to be your host for, well, your co-host, I suppose, for today's stream. Um, I'm a developer advocate here at DevCycle, which means my entire job is getting to hang out with all of you and uh, show you all the really cool things that uh, feature flagging and DevCycle can do um, to make your life as a developer a little bit easier and also just to have fun um, on stream, um, hanging out with folks that work on the, uh, the DevCycle team. So I uh, speaking of which, I am super excited to welcome, and I've been hoping for this stream to happen for a while on one of my streams, uh, but I'm really pumped to welcome the one, the only, the amazing Vic to the stream. Vic, how's it going this morning, sir? It is great. We're uh, testing the the very limits of the uh, MacBook Air here today, so it's uh, it's going to be a good one. I love that. I was thinking, I was just thinking as I was, uh, as I was setting this up, I was like, technically this is like a CLI versus GUI. This is also like a MacBook Pro M1 versus a MacBook Air. So we are going to see, we're going to see which, uh, which of these work. But uh, yeah, I mean, so as we're kind of getting things started, I'm going to explain a little bit more about Does It Toggle and what it's all about today. But, uh, but Vic, maybe just if you want to give a little bit of background about yourself so people know what to expect um in the next little while or what to not expect i suppose so yeah like, yeah no problem yeah so uh funny enough um i was a engineer here at uh dev cycle before it was dev cycle for quite a while um and uh i'm a have a really weird niche uh tech skill uh which is sdk development uh you know i wrote some of our initial sdks back in the day and managed that for a while and before switching to product because Believe it or not, um, product managers for SDKs aren't exactly a very, you know, common thing. Uh, and so kind of uh, really focused in on that. And eventually we came to DevCycle. And uh, because I'm coming from an engineering background who has had to build and use SDKs, we got to DevCycle with me and our CTO, Jonathan, being very, very opinionated on how these things should work. And that's kind of how we ended up where we are. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm a product manager now, been doing this for quite a while. And uh, it's a really weird thing, one, being a product manager for developer tools and two, for invisible things like an SDK. <laughs> Mind you, of course, there is the dashboard, but yeah. <laughs> Totally, I love it. So so Vic, I will, I will um, also put out there, there was this, a little bit of a, a part of me that when I was building out this, this stream kind of concept, um, I was like, who can I get on that like knows what they're doing, but is not going to like, is not like the engineer's engineer and is not going to like crush me uh, into the ground. And, uh, and I feel like we'd had some conversations where you're like, listen, I'm not, I'm not an engineer anymore, man. I'm a product. I'm, I'm rusty on my code. And I was like, that's what I need. I need somebody who's rusty and does not know what's going on. That is that that will make this uh, that'll make this a lot more fun and fair. I feel like for me. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I mean, in the last twenty minutes, I was able to rewrite the sample app. So oh dang, oh dang, <laughs> got good. my thoughts back. It's all coming back. It's like riding a bike. I love it. <laughs> um, so we are also, I think, going to be joined. Uh, my cat normally sleeps during the day, but my cat has decided oh, to join us. And uh, she is going to cause a whole bunch of shenanigans, I am sure, over the next little while. And I'm sure my key. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Her nails already stuck in me. Um, but uh, but yeah, so a little bit for those that are watching and tuning into the stream about what Does It Toggle is about. Um, so Does It Toggle is our live live coding stream here at DevCycle where we live code with the DevCycle tool. We show you how it works, um, but we do it in a fun way. So uh, we do it in testing out DevCycle's um, functionality on places that um, I have not tried them out before. Uh, so last time uh, on our first Desert Toggle, uh, I found a brand new open source framework, PHP framework to test out. Um, it was awesome. Uh, the experience was a little bit of a struggle bus for me, but I feel like that was okay. Today's does it toggle. Not only are we going to be sort of focusing on how our GUI versus CLI works, we've done some really great things with our CLI, so we're going to be looking at that. But also, um, the kind of technology we're going to be looking at is an Android app, and so we're going to be looking at Kotlin, we're going to be looking at Java, we're going to be looking at Android Studio. Computers are going to overheat, things will explode, it will be 
the best madness and chaos that you've seen, I hope. We're also maybe going to try out some other technologies uh, to see if I can. I realize that I don't think you can share two screens at once, but we're going to try a post screen at the same time as this. We're going to explode things. Things are going to go well. Um, but uh, but yeah, so, so that's going to be kind of our focus today. And uh, if you're here on the stream, we're just going to take it slow. We're going to hang out. We're here to hang out for the next hour and a bit um, to just kind of play around with all of this stuff. We're going to show you how to spin up our sample apps. We're going to show you how to use Android Studio if you've never touched it before. Um, we're we're going to try CoScreen um, to see if it works, if I can get that to happen. What and is that? <laughs> what is CoScreen? That is a good question. So CoScreen, I remember finding a little while ago, basically it's a way to like, uh, rem it's like remoting into a, to a computer, but they've done it in like a way that you can do it a little bit more effectively. So the goal here is that I can share my screen and we can both be controlling my screen and same for you, just so that we have the ability to do a little bit of collaborative stuff. Um, it may not work though. And that's the glorious thing about these streams is when it doesn't work, um, it's almost the most fun, uh, because anybody can see, everybody can see us struggle all at the same time. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be in uh, Android land today, like you said. So um, if anybody's ever touched Android, they should know that it working the first time and having Gradle all work out is actually miraculous. So if the test app is working for you out of the box, that's oof, crazy. <laughs> I did. I did get it to work, so I was glad uh, as we were prepped. So, so I will say, I do say I never touched a lot of these things before, but I always do a little bit of prep before the streams. And so like I got Vic to show me how to set things up and I installed Android Studio yesterday to make sure things were working. Thankfully, um, that that $4,000 laptop that I am sitting on right now got its worth um, and showed that apparently if I want to develop an Android Studio, I just need to spend a lot of money. That's exactly it. Or have a lot of free time. Boom, there you go. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pull up, uh, what am I gonna pull up? I'm gonna pull up, uh, I'm gonna pull up my screen, uh, one of my screens, which screen? I'm gonna pull up this screen and then I'm gonna, which screen? No, I wanna share the whole, I'm gonna share the entire screen and then I'm gonna move this over. Yes, we're gonna move this over, there we go. All right. So we should have this code screen thing here, and I'm I'm curious to see if this works. So oh, we're gonna, gonna try this now. We're right. gonna try we're gonna try this to start because if it doesn't work, I feel like we'll discover um, we'll discover very quickly. I'm also gonna turn off the like microphone and stuff just so that we don't end up with like multiple microphones in multiple places not working. Make sure my mic is still oh, working. Oh, I here, see. Actually. Yeah, so just like turn off all of the audio and and video stuff that's on there. And I think we should be fine. I there's no way it's gonna take the audio too. Don't you have to give that? We'll see. We'll see. You do. You have to give it a lot of permissions. I mean, so we'll see if this works. Um, yeah. And if you've never, um, it's cool because I didn't realize that Datadog had bought CoScreen, um, which I think is very cool. Very cool finding. Do you have to install it? I'm curious for the person. You have to install it. All right, we're gonna find out as this works. So um, if you are just tuning into the stream, uh, Vic and I are here. We're gonna be doing some Android development today uh, in Android Studio. And because why not, I decided to throw in uh, a brand new additional technology um, just to see if we can kind of co-share at the same time, give Vic all of the control of, uh, of my computer. And uh, it may not work, and if it doesn't, then we're, we're just going to kind of jump into uh, we're going to jump into to Android land right away. But uh, yeah, yeah. So Vic, is it working for you? Uh, just installing everything right now. We're installing. We're going to see. This is the true test. Do you have Android That's it. Studio this is, this is the same time? Yeah, I already do have Android Studio running with an emulator going, but I think I've optimized my setup. Nice. Um, nice. I don't so like Vic, to an existing screen. Yes, I do have. An yes. Also, funny enough, I asked for for water, and they brought me hot water. Very strange. Look at that! This I, is see. That's like I. It might sound like luxury, but it's very strange. <laughs> oh, you so you literally asked somebody in the office to bring you water, and they brought you hot <laughs> water. water, no tea bag in it. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It's oddly exactly what I wanted, but I, I wouldn't have I would have never expected this. Okay, wait. Why can't I do any of this now? I had to restart my co screen. I have to give everything a billion permissions. It's not doing it. Oh, okay, yeah. now I have to. All the permissions, and, and then it'll I, like restart it, I think. Remote control. I don't know, by the way, if my computer is going to let you do remote control. It's all right. You don't, so even if it doesn't let you do it, if it does let me do it, then like I've been able to do it on my computer because I. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got our like 
enterprise protections and stuff going on on my computer, right? Yeah, so we'll see. maybe see if it'll it work. works. Ooh, okay, I've got one thing going. All okay, right, that's good. Screen sharing now seems to not want to do that. Goodness me. This is the true test. The true test of enterprise security. Does it work live on stream? Huh. This, this app is not showing up on the screen recording list. Let me restart. Oh, and if you're here, by the way, if you're here in chat, um, say oh, something to us. We would love to hear from you. Oh, yeah. Did you uh, even post this on our Slack and everything, too? So I didn't post on our internal Slack. Uh, if you want to throw it on there so you can let some people know. Oh, I'm busy um, pressing so many buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Get some dips like this on there. You gave me homework in the middle of the stream. There we go. That's true. I feel like that was probably not the right decision. Let's see if, let's see if it opens up the right it screen. I it oh, let's not dox ourselves there. Um, let's unshare our screen for a second. All right, let me unshare my screen here. Stop screen share. All right, let's open this and let's go oh. here. Is it working? My Are goodness. you in? Yeah, it's using my old avatar from somewhere. All right, mute that's your mic. Good. Oh, sorry. How about this one? Is this good? That that's good. I think we've got. I think we got it on, on the right ones now. All right. All right. So uh, I'm gonna share my screen again. Uh, let's go uh, turn off Slack for a sec. Hey, oh. Carmelo's in chat. Awesome. Hey, Carmelo. I love that Carmelo's here every single one of our streams, and it makes me so happy. All right, let's share screen. Let's share screen. Entire screen. Go on screen one. All right. Do you have control now, then? Like, can you do things here? Uh, I don't really see anything. Allow others to control windows you share. Do I have to choose windows that I share? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's fair. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm going to share. Okay, here we go. I've got this now. So I think if I share the entire display, you'll be able to do things on here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to open Android Studio, and then I'm going to give you power over the Android Studio. Oh, we're gonna see what works. but here's the thing. I like rewrote the app before this as well. That's all right. On my side. <laughs> I, I deleted it. Oh, and another technology. So I installed Arc, but I haven't done anything with oh, it. Oh, I love Arc. <clears throat> I haven't done anything with it. So but we're not going to open Arc, but it has a very similar uh, logo to the Android Studio, which I find very interesting. Oh, that's true, actually. And I'm now seeing them side by side. Wow. All right. Let's get Android Studio open here. And then I'm going to let you uh, get access to that. Let's open this up and... Uh, Let's see. I think if I click share here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there so let's is. see. Can you Wait control for five this? seconds? Um, where is that? Ah, there it is. Cool. Uh, no, uh, remote control's off. So you need to. Oh, wait, I, have oh. To, I got it. You got I'm it. In charge now. I'm in charge. This Here's, is sick, actually. I love uh, this. It's not letting me click anything, though. I think I it's because I started grabbing things again. Maybe. Potentially. Do I have to like control command click or something? Or... Let me remove this from list. Remove from list. All right, try it now. There you no, go. Oh, wait, I wanted that. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, but uh, one second. Where? Uh, I can't click anything. Oh, it's because it's got like this. Uh, hold on. Let me remove this from list. I just got to remove these example things. No, All I right. can't. I can't click anything on your screen. I'm clicking. Oh, there you go. It's working. That's you. No, oh, I didn't. I'm hitting open. All right. We're gonna like we're we're discovering if uh, all right let's let's try this again try try and take over now we're seeing if this got works. It. I think you got it now. Yes, there we go. So I have nothing. I haven't even installed it yet. I haven't uh, even I haven't done anything. So I need to pull that app. You right? have to get the whole. Oh you man. Uh, it's alright. So I'll like, grab it now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, also, you. I think whenever you move, you stop me from doing stuff. That's what it is. All right. Uh, so, um, yeah, why don't you just go? I've got like VS Code or um, GitHub. I've got GitHub Desktop if you want to just go pull it from there. And I think. I have no idea how to use GitHub Desktop. All right. You know what we're going to do? Uh, you're just in Android gonna... Studio. What you should do is just clone it in. Just show your share your screen uh, as you're cloning it in. I can only see Android Studio on my screen. So. Oh, I see. I love this. All right. I'm going to. It's okay. Uh, it. That's fine. I'm going to grab uh, our Android over. client SDK. I'm going to clone this again. So I got this and I'm going to bring it into my GitHub. So just cloning this on stream right now. 
All right, so I've got that in my GitHub folder, so I can now let that go. So it's a fresh clone, hide that. And now I'm gonna go back into Android Studio and now you should be able to open it. So if you go to open, you should be able to find it in like documents GitHub. That's, oh, okay, so did it accept me? Oh, I know what's going on. I hit open uh, and that's this is a finder window. So I don't see this. So oh, you have to click. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, so you I will go, open you, it. You go click. Yeah, you open it. This is so interesting. I'm like, I like the the like fine grain control in this um, to like to a level. I like it to a level. Okay, let's go where my documents. I want, I will say like as a Windows user, I'm still, I will never fully. I'll, there's a, uh, I'll show you. There's a thing that turns Finder into Windows Explorer. It, Does it? Uh, All right. I've been on, I've been on Mac for seven years and I still prefer Windows Explorer. All right, here we go. Vic, here we it go. Is here for you, it's open. Uh, so this right. is. The, you have to share is, now. Should be, oh, now I got to share again. All right, here we go. All right, let's give this a try. Let's see oh. how good this is. I love that we don't, I love that we in no way need to be doing this. <laughs> I know, I know. I could just be sharing my screen. I know, but I love that we're trying it. Okay, so one thing I can't do is like uh, like shrink the sidebar. There you go. Oh, I can. Did I did it. it. Yeah. It's just really weird. Okay, so uh, I'll walk through what's going on over here. Um, we have the entire project here, and really cool when you open it, we actually start with the readme of the whole repo, and it'll go through everything. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to play in Java today. Um, and so all we actually have to do is if you go up here, the example, the client SDK. So this is really cool. If you ever wanted to contribute to our SDKs as well, you can just clone it. And these test apps are using the local versions of the SDK. So if you modify the SDK and run it, you can actually just test it right there. Uh, it's really cool. So uh, we're gonna do Java though. And uh, this dropdown doesn't seem to be opening for me. Come on, come on, is, what are you doing? Is it opening on yours? No, it's not opening on mine. Hold on, let me take over. There you right, go, new Java example. Java example, Perfect. Right, there you go. Should be cool. yours again. Uh, and so let's take a look at the Java example code. So mine is a bit different. I changed it around on mine, but we'll do this old one. Uh, so essentially all this does, um, I know I just have to do one quick thing in the test app because I know it's broken. Um, and you are not layout. I just know that this app needs this just to make this page actually have content on it. For some reason, the autocomplete is getting taken over by you. Oh, I know what it is. It's because I'm typing. I'm typing. Yeah. Carmelo. Wow. So this is like, I don't know. This is an interesting, like, I like trying new tools live for a situation like this because it is actually cool. Like the fact that we can. Yeah, I know. I, really nice. I, I, I like this. All right, cool. Uh, so what we have, uh, we're just going to basically show off um, starting uh, DevCycle up and then getting a variable essentially. Um, we're going to go over to the Java application class here. Don't know if my double clicks are uh, triggering. Should click. Let's see. Is it going? Sorry, right, I can do it. Oh, you're going to have to double click for me. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's funny because even my mine is chugging right now. All right. Yeah. All right. So um, basically, just to start this off, we're gonna create a DVC client. Um, this is just kind of the entry point to DevCycle, uh, right? And so you're gonna do builder. The builder will kind of walk you through how to do stuff. Um, every time you start up DevCycle, you need a user. Uh, so that way, we give you exactly what you want. Really interesting because we kind of we bucket on that user ID. Um, we'll change this to have more options in the future, but right now you have that user ID. And what that does is it guarantees that every single time. So if you're running like an experiment, right, with multiple variations and randomly distributing, because what we do is we use the user ID to guarantee that no matter what device you're on, that same user will receive the same variations. So that way, if you go between the mobile site and the web, like the website and mobile, it's never going to like flip around. So that's how we require the user ID. Um, but yeah, so you can add extra stuff here if you want. We'll just use a user ID. And we need an SDK key, which we'll go get. Um, and then, yeah, what, we'll, what we'll do here is what, what we're doing is just grabbing some variables. There's two ways to do it. <clears throat> That's what we're showing. Um, you can just grab the variable, and the variable will have a bunch more info on it. So it'll have like the details of what it's from and, and whatnot. Uh, or you can just straight up say, hey, just give me the value. Um, so that's what these two are doing. Uh, and then, yeah, it should just post like a little pop-up of the value. So uh, we need a little mobile SDK key. Um, 
I get it in a different way than you normally do. So yeah, so let's um let uh, let you know I, I love the coast the co share the fact that it works is cool. Like yeah. now we've done it. This is all just so that I can reach out to Datadog and be like, hey, do you guys want to sponsor our streams? <laughs> um, that's that's my secret. It's kind here. of cool though. I mean. Like if, uh, if, if this is really good for like, if you and I were like kind of debugging something or working together on something like yeah. that's really good, actually. Especially cause like VS code has some really good features, like the live code features, I, but, I, if you're, but if you're not using that, right? Like it's so much harder to do. And I was, I was Googling, I was like, how do you do live code sharing on Android studio? And they were basically like, you don't. <laughs> and I tried like, that me and, uh, me and Aaron used to try that all the time and it was actually okay until you had like three files open and then it was game over. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to shut off. I'm going to unshare. Yep. My, I'm going to shut off co-share because I don't think no we need problem. it anymore. And then let's, uh, let's let you take over the screen share. Um, and, yeah. uh, and then we'll um, go from there. Sure. I mean, how do you want me to do this? What am I, what am I doing here? Just All you got to do there's i uh, I'm going to stop my screen share at the yeah. very bottom of the, there's a thing that says present in the stream yard window and you can just choose your screen and, uh, and take it over and I'll put it up on the stream. So you can uh, close out co-stream. I'm going to have to restart arc one second. I'll be right back. Restarting art. We'll see you in just a minute. So if you are, uh, if you're just tuning into the stream, uh, we are, um, hanging out in Android studio today, playing around with some sample Java, uh, and Kotlin sample apps. Um, there we go. Vic is back. Um, we're also trying out co-screen. We're trying to Android studio. We're trying out so many different tools. Um, and, uh, yeah, so now we're actually going to show you kind of how this works. So we did a walkthrough there of, uh, of what this looks like. Um, but, now we've actually got it up on uh, on Vic's monitor now. So Vic, I'll kind of let you like lead the lead the charge now. Yeah, sure. Um, one second, I gotta shut down co screen. It's taking over a bunch of my inputs. I can imagine. Like it's so. I'm I, to be in fairness, I'm kind of shocked that you're on. Like what year MacBook Air? Oh, it, it's an M2. It's it, it's new. Oh, but it's still. I, I so it's interesting. I've been really interested in like getting a MacBook Air like personally, and I was like, I wonder if this, it makes sense anymore. It is crazy. Um, like even like uh, for work events, right? We'll play games sometimes, um, and like this thing can run like Counter Strike, like no problem. Uh, it can run Android Studio and Figma and Arc and everything pretty well. Uh, I highly recommend this for anybody that wants like a really lightweight, easy thing to like code with. Uh, I wouldn't say to do like crazy back and front end web dev together on it, <laughs> um, but, uh, and I wouldn't do eight gigs. You definitely need 16 gigs of Ram, but it is amazing. I'm probably going to be getting my, myself one soon. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. So what do we got going on here, Vic? What's, uh, what's uh, happening? all right. So in the app, I have just this, uh, the app just has this over on it, right? It just says false. Um, what this is doing, I have a text view on the screen and I want to update it with the value of the variable that I'm loading. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to create a feature, uh, and let me just do one thing real quick. I definitely need to go to, uh, my DVC client manager and I need to insert my SDK key. Um, I'm going to do this in uh, the new way that I like doing this. Um, I use the CLI for this now all the time, instead of actually going to the dashboard and I'll show you why, um, our CLI is pretty cool. We got a little DVC status. I'm not logged in. So I'm going to say DVC log in again. I don't know. I haven't logged into the CLI. I don't know why I hadn't noticed Togglebot done in like ASCII. Like, oh like, yeah. Look at this. Wait, one second. does it work? DVC wink. Look at it. Oh my God, of course, of course there's an Easter egg in there. Yeah, uh, so yeah, so uh, you can actually just grab your key. So I'm gonna just make sure I'm not on a production project here. Um, I'll say my empty project, sure. DVC keys, um, which is really cool. I'll, I'll just say get, I'm not even gonna type in. I'm gonna say DVC get, we'll walk you through in the CLI, everything you'd ever need. So I'll literally have my environment that I set up. You can also create and remove environments directly from the CLI, which is really cool. Um, we're going to do this in production. Yeah, that's smart. Um, so we're going to grab our production mobile key and there it is. Um, everybody can steal this all they want. Now we have our mobile key here. Um, and so typically what, what happens, so basically, like I said, I have my variables over here that I made my variable. I'm going to call it my Boolean feature, whatever. 
Uh, so I've created my feature and what I'm doing is I am setting the result of this, the setting the result of the value to this text view. So I've defaulted it to false, nothing's here. So it's going to be false, right? So what I want to do is show you how easy it is to like create a feature flag and just toggle it on and off and just see that happen in, in an application. Um, Typically what we would normally do is go to the DevCycle dashboard and go create this feature uh, and set it all up. I'm not gonna do that because I'm only gonna share one screen and I'm too lazy to switch and I'll show you how and how fast this is. Um, but first and foremost, we're just gonna rerun the app now that I have the SDK key installed. Um, I'll zoom in over here a little bit so we can see what's going on. Um, the test apps let you kind of like change your identity and like evaluate features by typing it in, but uh, for this case, I'm just going to check what's on the screen. So it should be false. And now what we want to do is set it to true. Okay. So I'm just going to create a simple feature flag that's true or false. Uh, and it's actually really nifty how you do that. Uh, really straightforward. Uh, we're just going to go to the terminal and I'm going to type in DVC features create. And just like that, I said, my bool feature, my bool feature is the key. That key is how you reference stuff, right? Don't need a description. Uh, and now I have a feature. It's probably off. So if I want to see kind of like, what is this looking at? Remember, <clears throat> I did this in production. I'm going to say DVC targeting get. Um, and we're going to, ooh, DVC targeting. We're going to grab it for my bool feature, the one I just made. We're going to check what it's on in production. And it says, hey, it's disabled, right? So if it's enabled, technically all users should receive variation on, which should be true. Um, I think anyway. Uh, yeah, so now let's enable it. So we can just say DVC targeting enable my bool there or my bool feature. And just like that, we're going to enable it in production. And look at that live in real time, it changed to go. true just like that. Uh, and so, yeah, you could toggle your features on and off directly here, test things out, create different variations. So uh, you can change, have different variations, different texts for different people. Um, but yeah, as a developer, um, even me as a not a developer anymore, uh, I just do it like this now in the CLI. Obviously, the dashboard has a lot more bells and whistles, a lot more functionality, but what we're doing is trying to take all of that and put it directly into the CLI um, and make it really simple and easy to use. But yeah, just like that, I created a feature, I created a feature flag, changed the text to whatever the value of the feature flag was, and in real time, I edited it live here. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, yeah, and this Android SDK, I'll be pushing up this version of the Android sample app uh, soon because it's a, a lot easier to work with than what we currently have for the Java yeah. side. The Kotlin side is fine. Let's go look. Let, I, I mean, maybe maybe we should go look. Also, by the way, I've decided like last minute, I'm going to see. I was like, I wonder if we could add a feature flag to like a live open source project that we can find. We may try and do that a little bit later. Oh, it's so um, an Android one? No. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, like it, hard. I don't know. I, I, no, no, I, I think we Cloning an it. Android project that's open source and just having it work, that's crazy. We'll we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try it. We're going to try it live, but not right now. Right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take over screen share here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, let's go and, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at, let me move you around here. And we'll take a look at that sort of the app that Vic is talking about running on uh, with sort of this the sample here. So let's go present, share screen, share screen, uh, entire screen, this screen. Am I in the right one? No, that's Slack open. Close Slack, close Slack. We don't want to share Slack. There's so many things. All of the secret, all of the secret sauce for how DevCycle works is in that Slack. All right, everybody. So here we are. Here we are in our Android SDK. So this is from the repo that's currently live. Um, and you can see here, there's a couple of, I mean, it mostly looks the same, uh, in general. So I just wonder like, what's really different in here? Is it mostly in this main activity section? Um, Hold on, let me yeah. So I just, uh, what I did differently is I added that text to the middle of the screen. Right. Um, so we can do this here too. I'll show you how that's done. Um, Wait, hold on. Let me just do, I just want to zoom in. Sure command plus, hit command plus, I think. I'm on like a windows keyboard and it's not working i think it's like uh, command shift plus maybe no it should just uh, be windows oh. plus should just be windows plus then windows plus no it's not working what does no. it say in here what does it say in for this it's like ah uh, whatever oh i see it's it's actually like is it this shift call oh, it doesn't really matter <laughs> this is not worth it i will just go in here and continually select this all right awesome okay so here we go we are here in 
our escape. So what what what, what changed in here, Vic? Uh, well, I did a lot. I did way too many changes to actually explain this, but we can still do something um, kind of relatively similar. Um, what I did is I, uh, so what's actually happening right now in the app, if you go to the Java application class, um, what we want to do is basically take everything here. Uh, if you go to the very top, um, right underneath on create, see where it says DVC client, just copy all of this, cut all this rather, like all, yep. like all the whole oh, cut it. Oh, top, take the whole thing. Bottom, oh, top oh literally take this whole yeah. top, like this on create. No, no, everything below on create. Below yeah. this one too? No, not that. Super. Just below on create, yeah. All of that go down to the very bottom until uh, keep going, keep going. That uh, those two braces there down, yeah. That and just cut that. And then let's go over to the uh, main app, the main activity, and we're just going to do this here and just put that paste it right under that line. Yeah, uh, you're going to have some errors, and that's because he didn't pull the variables over. So we'll just do that. Let's go to the Java application again and just take those two variables at the top the variable yep done and we're just going to put that over in main activity at the top above yeah right below there perfect okay cool so you should have one more error it's going to start complaining about uh the context i think or is everything good looks good i mean cool. wait, let's try and run it let's try and yeah. run it and it should it, it should, should just run. run so all i'm doing here is uh basically we were initializing in the application class which you should be doing um, but because what I want to do is modify a variable, um, the easiest way to do, like modify text on the screen, the easiest way to do this is just let's initialize everything in that class that has that text, right? Um, my changes, I created a like DevCycle manager so I can access DevCycle from any class anywhere. Um, but what we're going to do is just initialize DevCycle. Uh, what we're going to do is put some text on the screen like I'd had, and we're going to use a string for yours, actually. We're going to actually have whatever text you want instead of just a Boolean variable. All right. Uh, but first, let's make sure this thing runs. It should say that it Good. should say that you don't have a key installed and everything. Yep. Yeah, Perfect. there we go. Perfect. Um, all right, cool. What we're going to do then real quick, let's add some text. All right, where are we doing that? So over on the sidebar, there's a folder called res. It's your yep. resources. Um, and in there, there should be a layout and the activity main. And that's what you're looking at here. So this is really cool. It's a visual editor, Love this. Uh, which is great. But you can also do split view. Uh, if you see, there's a little button that says split on the top there, uh, on the top right. Yeah. So it shows oh, you the second. code and that. But let's go back to just design, because what we're going to do, I'll show you how easy this is. Um, on the left, there should be a thing called text view. On the bottom left there. Yeah. And you should just be able to drag that right into the middle of the screen. Is this, what I'm, is this where I'm grabbing or from the top? Uh, no, right down there. You can just grab that down there. Yeah. And just drag that over onto the screen into the middle of right there. Exactly. Bam. Cool. Uh, I think it went to the top. Yeah, it definitely That's fine. Uh, you could just drag that down, I think. And it doesn't like that, huh? Hmm. Huh. Really does not want to be there. Let's Interesting. see if we pull this down. Nope. That's not going to work. Uh, no problem. Then we just go to the. Uh, Huh, weird. Let me zoom in here. See what we can. What's going on? You know, here. I've got a better idea. What better are we gonna idea. do? I'm just gonna. Oh, hold on! No, no, no! I think I got it. I yeah. think because I'm seeing. Seems like it's. It's it's uh, so it's not a relative layout. Uh, there's a thing called relative layouts that should push things relative to one another, but there's something forcing it all to be messed up. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna send to you in a private chat here. Um, or in Slack, rather. Make sure you're not uh, sharing your screen on that. I'm just going to send you the file. You're just going to copy the contents and paste it in because that has, it's all I did was drag it in. I think yours is just being a bit weird. Sick. All right. I'm going to grab this over here. And Unshare. This. Amazing. Grab this. And I'm just going to put this into my, all right, let's copy that. And let's share again. Close this down. These are, this is kind of the stuff that I love. It's like yeah, it's yeah. not quite working. And you're like, oh, why isn't this working? And you're like, hey. because nothing ever works in prod like it did in localhost. Oh, God. I mean, as an Android dev, historically, I know. All right, uh, so I want to go into my split view here. And just highlight all that and paste it. All right, let's get rid of that and paste it. Cool. Hey, there we go. All right. Great. Uh, so that one is called text underscore result. And that's important because what we're going to do is on the very top of this uh, now, right after we initialize DevCycle. Yeah. 
when we have the variables. Yeah. Uh, what you're going to do is just type uh, underneath where it says toast.make text. It should be down on line 43. Yeah, yeah. Got right it. Under, right, right under there. Uh, what you're going to do is say find view by ID. So it should autofill for you. Find uh, lowercase f. Find view by ID. Yeah. And then you're going to type R, capital R. Yeah. Dot uh, ID dot and then uh, should be result text view. Yeah, there it is. And then uh, what you can do is then we do need to cast it as a text view so that way it knows to make it as text. So cover, uh, wrap the whole thing in brackets without, uh, not the semicolon, but yeah. Uh, not brackets, sorry. Uh, yeah, brackets, not curly braces, brackets. Yeah, wrap that whole thing. And, and then put another bracket right there, another one, and you're gonna type text view, capital T. And what this does is, oh, ca yeah, capital T. What this does is it says, uh, yeah, and then close bracket, other way, cool. And then, I think I did this wrong, and then dot, uh, okay, maybe, oh, oh, sorry, the, hmm, why is it, what's it telling you? What's the problem here? Highlight that? Should just tell you what the issue is. Hold on, give me a sec. There's oh, cover, there not a statement. Yeah, that's true. Uh, text you. Oh, uh, my bad. So th put the other bracket. Uh, actually, one second. I just, I, this is, I haven't done an Android in so I love long. this note. This is great. Uh, listen, this is why I brought you on, Vic. I wanted things to break so I feel better about myself. That's yeah. really, that's really the whole thing. Well, no, it should work. Uh, now at the end, you should just be able to type dot at the end of that line. Yeah, there it is, set text. That text. Which one? Uh, that one. Character sequence. Cool. And then we have a thing called variable value there. So let's just use the variable value. Yeah. Cool. So now technically, what's going to happen is uh, after the initialization, um, like it should set the text uh, that of the change my value with dev cycle to whatever variable value that is. So what's happening here is you're initializing dev cycle, you're getting the variable value and you're setting that text to be that value. Now you haven't initialized dev cycle, but if everything worked, see it says my string variable. Yeah, yeah. It's because the default text you put there is, says my string variable is not initialized yet. All right, so let's go and look and let's grab a, uh, let me go into dev cycle. Yeah, we'll grab, grab a key, screen. create a feature. And I'm actually gonna pull this, I might pull this screen. I might pull this over here because I, I think we do want to show it. Uh, let's go app, let me pull this over here. All right, make sure that we can see here. Awesome. I, I always hate, I need to hide that bookmark bar. Y'all don't need to see my bookmarks bar. Uh, That's why you use Arc. Uh, Arc has I know, I love that I'm like, I want to hide my bookmarks bar. And what no, you just, hit, you just hit it command S. It knows everything. Um, all right, let's go, uh, let's go cycle. in here. There we go, now we got what we needed to get. Let's head over to dev cycle. Awesome, so it's already, this is like already a step that I've got to yeah. do. And I've got my does it toggle here. It's funny too, the dev cycle part was the easy part. Dealing with Android is the hard part. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, but even here, like it's not that bad. So let's go yeah. in, I think I created, I created just a make feature. A brand new one. Just make a brand new one. Do a new one? All right, let's create yeah. a new feature. Because there's a cool thing that you can do when you do this. At the very bottom there, it says, what do you want your variable type to be? And right, defaults to Boolean, but what you can do is make the first one a string instead. All right, let's do Because that. that's what we're going to do. Cool, let's create that. Um, and then all you have to do is go down to the code sample. Go down Boom, to co code there sample. we go. Let's change that over to Java. Yeah, you don't need to grab any of this. What you, all you need to do is hit that key button. Just hit that key button, done. Oh, now, now you put that in as your SDK key. Joe's you know wild is this is not even the way that I get my keys. I always get my keys yeah, up here. Yeah, I know, it's right there. Always get my keys up here. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. This is how you find it. All right, <laughs> let's head over to, let's not go over to Slack, I need to close that again. Let's get this open and, and then, let's throw our yep. key right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Done. And then um, what you also want to do, make sure, yeah, and then change that to that. Should be that, live with Vic. Um, and let's go set some values. I don't think you set any values on that. No, I did not. All right. And I feel as though the only appropriate thing to do here is to uh, go with some classic hello world. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yep. I love that I'm, I've, I've like found my inner developer with my use of hello world. Oh, it just right. says on and off. Okay, cool. Yeah. And just hello world for on and rules. 
Cool. So uh, technically, when you look at this right now, though, uh, it, it should be on already. It's automatically on on, def on development whenever you create a feature. So if you run this, it should say that. Now, actually, I do think um, what you're going to need to do instead is copy the line where we set the find view by IDs dot set text. Well, hold on a second. I want to see if this works. Oh, it will, but it's not going to use the right value. I don't think. Are you sure? Yes. No, you're right. Okay, so and I need to go reason, down here. The reason for that is that you didn't wait for it to initialize. So uh, just copy that co copy that line. Yep. Um, or cut that line, sorry. And then in on initialize there, client dot on initialize down below. Oh, yeah. And the success go down under, yeah, right there in the on success. There's, and no, 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 not there, not there, not there. Uh, right under on success. Oh, not, oh, there's wait. two on successes. Oh, I see. Right here? Is this right no, 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 above that. Oh, so, above that, right here, got Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, that oh, one's okay. just, yeah, so this should now do it. So this should pull it in once it's initialized. And if not, then we get to debug it, but this hey. should do it. Uh, so this is like, hey, cool, wait for dev cycle to initialize and then set the values, right? Um, it, yeah, because it was back to back. So this should work now. Hey, there Hello? we go. Nice. Uh, just like that. No, this be live. So if I go in, if I set this app to online. No. Okay. I don't, because what you have to do for that is, uh, let's go underneath all this client that on initialize stuff. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, after that semicolon at the bottom there, very bottom. Yeah, make a new line. What you're going to do here is uh, you have variable, so type in variable. Uh, dot on update. It should have one for you. Yeah. And then uh, new. And then space. Uh, function DB, uh, function one. I think that I, I think it's both. I don't know what that one is, but yeah, what you should just be able to do here then is now say that same line, the find view by ID one, just copy yeah. that and put it there. And then you're going to use that string variable. And then, yeah, that's how you do it uh, live. So. All right. So if I copy this here and pop it in the return null or. In uh, no, above, uh, right above return null. Oh, all right. I got to see what that function one business is. I think we were supposed to just use DVC callback, but yeah. Okay, well, we can... We can do or it that. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to restart it now and then see if this works live. But this is pretty sick. This is... I mean, in fairness, I would say that it didn't necessarily take a huge amount of time longer between these two. What I did like that is just like with that CLI, although you didn't create from scratch, so I'm super interested. Oh, I did. With, that was me well, creating from scratch. From scratch. Yeah, that, I hit features create, go, and then that just toggled on, done. All right, let's go variation. The only off. thing, what I did different from you is that I uh, I did production, so it was off at first, and then I toggled it on. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, did All you right. get save? Oh, you have to rebuild this now. Oh, no, I think I did. Maybe I didn't. We're going to see. I did. Oh, maybe I didn't click save over Oh, here. no, sorry. Uh, wait, you messed up. Sorry. Um, See where you're doing set text variable value? That's the old value. You have to do the one that this returns, which is string variable. Oh, this, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then string variable dot, uh, dot get value. Yeah. Success. All right, let's see if this works now. So I should now, I'm going to rebuild this. And then I should be getting world now, actually. Come on. I mean, I will say this is like ridiculously fast. I remember trying to run, there we go. I remember trying to run this on um, on my desktop, like Android Studio many moons ago, and it was just hot garbage to try and run this um, just because it's so heavy. All right, so this, so that just, I just changed that to hello. Should work. Should work, but do I have to set this to online? My challenge is offline right now. Oh yeah. Maybe. Or maybe I didn't save. Let me see. I think you saved. Uh, oh, did you do it on the... Yeah, you did development variation on. Variation Sweet. on should be hello. Oh, right. wait. Does not say hello? No, it says world there still. Interesting. Flush. Evaluate. Huh, let's re let's uh, reload this. What, why is it offline? Hello okay, world. So I've got world. That's good. And I no, should not. It should be getting hello. Nah, wait, no. I might have just changed it back. Oh, you did just hit it back. Okay. I did. Okay, right. but now, so now, now if I go and change to world, yeah. I sh it should live update. Yeah. Yeah. There, just did. It's world. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. What's... Hello is on. Sometimes I question my ability to understand the simple logic of this. Now, uh, yeah, and you turn this on, it should say hello. 
it just happened so fast doesn't, that doesn't I couldn't. doesn't go back. Interesting. It just happened so fast that I I know, couldn't. it's so fast. So it's turning I, it's turning on, but not off. Okay, let's let's try this again. I want So it's on. I want to see what happens. Okay, so we got hello. And now I'm going to go back over here. And I'm actually going to just like, I'm going to make this screen smaller because I want to be, oh, wait, no. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I want to make this smaller. And let's pull up our second window here, live with Vic. It's dev cycle. All right, so here we go. All right, so I should be able to change this to, oh, look at this, our mobile friendly site. Look at us. There it is, yeah. Um, let's go variation off, save that, and we should update live here. Bum, bum, bum. Things are happening. Yeah. So not not the things that we want. Not that we happen. want. Oh, no. Um, yeah, no. Oh, it's not switching, huh? not switching. I have a feeling it has something to do with me not understanding how to write Java anymore. Well, I feel, yes, that is that is all. I feel like there's always an excuse of, I don't know what I'm doing and that is why it doesn't work. That Actually, is, I'm going to try mine here then. Alright, let, yeah, let, let me unshare my screen and then let's see let's see if Vic can get it working on his screen. Let me pull this up over here. I'll unshare for a sec. Alright, over to you, Vic. Get it up live. It's not happening if it's not live on stream. Yeah, yeah. So I th it's working for me. So it had, definitely has to do with uh, us not knowing how to write Java. That's us. Uh, I like that. I like that you use the term us when it was very right. much, very, very much me. Uh, let me share my screen. All right, there we go. Yeah, we'll just see. Hey, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We got a bug. Who cares? Oh, that's me. That's me that's up there. Sorry, you can add your uh, screen. I stop my share. I'm trying to find Android SDK. All share. Of, all of there we go. Uh, okay, cool. So we have false over here. Um, and so on so this is different actually now that i'm thinking about it let's do enable enable feature support production true and now let's turn it off table feature what are you Production. doing to me man oh, that macbook air is like it's working it's doing its job that yeah. CL, i think it's a cli thing i think cli wants to win this this uh ah, this you know what actually CLI. You know what? I'm going to try something though. DVC targeting update. We're going to try to just serve off because that's the problem we're seeing, right? Wait, what? Oh, look at this. Our CLI just keeps getting better and better. I gotta yeah, say. so look at this. I can change the status or the targets. So I'm going to change the targets. I'm going to edit my targeting rule. This one's for all users. I'm going to edit that one. Get the name. We're going to serve variation off instead. Continue. That's fast. Continue. So now it should say, okay, so it went false. Now let's try to turn it on. Let's do that again. We're gonna now do my feature, production, targets. Oops, whoops, my bad. CLI is very much winning this challenge because Here. right now, to date, I have targeting yet to be able to turn a thing live on and off. Edit targeting rule. We're gonna serve variation on now. Eight, okay, nine. it works. Hold on, keep your code up because I want to see. I feel like there's something that I did there that was wrong. All right, let's um, go. No, this it's on easy. update function one. So that was right. Text yeah. view, find view by ID. My, this called, is different because I'm using a Boolean instead of a string. Yeah, so. yeah, but it should be mostly the same, right? Set text yeah. string variable get value to string. Oh, it needs to be to string. No, because you're. Oh, because I have a string value. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. But I also, again, I did a bunch of different stuff here. I'm gonna blame the fact that Vic is messing with things before the stream. In fair, I I I, I, re I rewrote this whole like test app right before the stream. So all right, I want to see. I love this is great actually. I like honestly even just in this and me like seeing us use this like in real time, like the ability for you to go into your CLI and like <laughs> just do it right here on the same screen while testing stuff. So imagine yeah. for example, like rather than just flipping a flag, I've got a whole feature that I'm testing out and have a bunch of different like variables and variations of it. I don't have to do what you're doing, change tabs, go change something, come back. Uh, it's all just right here. Uh, and what we're going to do in the future too, is make this so rather than like doing that type e type editing I was doing, make it so you can walk this tree and just modify it right here. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is how it's going. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Let me just try it one more time just to make sure. Let's see this again. This is specifically not, this is different. I'm not toggling, right? There's toggling things on and off fully. Uh, I'm modifying the rule to specifically serve the off variation, right? So 
let's just make sure that this works. Edit targeting rule, all users, and we're gonna serve variation off now. So cool, variation off. It works, okay, cool, so I'm good. You're good. This is all me. CLI yeah. wins. CLI wins. Uh, although I feel like you may have rigged this uh, in your favor. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, mean, I did. <laughs> I, I, I did design the CLI after all. So <laughs> it does. It, that that does tend to be a helpful thing. Yeah. All right. I, I want to try. I want to try something with you. Um. Just I, so I think I, I do want to do like a time challenge. We got about a half hour left, and I, I do want to do a time challenge. But I also do. I love finding one of the so. Sorry, let me take a step back. I'm getting very excited. So one of my dreams with this stream was just going and finding things on GitHub that were open source to then try to add feature flags to. And so I'm super curious. I found this calculator app. Okay. And I have a feeling that it won't work. Oh, 99% chance you pull. Wait, when's the last time it was updated? That's a uh, It's like recent. It's like in okay. the Android app store. So let me let me share the right window. Let me send, share the other window. Send me that URL. Let's see if I can get it to yeah. run. Let me pull it up here. Where did I where did I put you? Where did I put you, Mr. Link to thing that I want to do? Uh is it oh here we go. Simple calculator. So this is it here. I'll throw this. Let's see. Three weeks ago. Okay. Three weeks ago, I guarantee you this is going to break something. But let me throw it to you. I'll throw it to you in the private chat here. Yeah, it's yeah, a stream yeah. yard. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna pull oh, this. Yeah. All right, let's clone that bad boy. Ooh, Ooh, she's, why is it so big? She's chonky. She's chonky. That's a hundred. They have every number in there. <laughs> all, all of the numbers. Every, every number in there. All. All of the numbers. All right, let's. Okay, so I got that simple calculator. How do I get back where I need to go? Uh, let's go. Oh, I need to stop clicking things. I the one thing I do hate about Mac is like every time you put something full screen, it's like impossible to touch anything after that. Okay, here we go. So let's pull now Android Studio over to this other screen, and then I'm gonna open that project up over here. All right, let's see if this works. I feel like there's going to be all of the errors. It's still, it's got a load. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I have the wrong version of Gradle. It's probably targeting the wrong version of Android. This is just classic. Like anytime any developer even joins a company and has to get the project set up, it's like three days before anything works. Right. Now, it is. I, I'm talking old school. I, I, I started Android development back in like 2010, so it's, a, uh, it's come a long way. I don't know how I feel that like old school is 2010. I, I mean. mean I'm saying like, what that was when Android just came out. I That's can't fair. get any older school than that. <laughs> that. That is fair. I mean, I guess that was uh, 2008, but yeah. All right, let's go here. Oh, I got, where's my stream here broadcast? So many windows open right now and none of them are doing what I want them to do. How, how can I not see StreamYard there? Hold on, stop sharing for a second. That's I think what I need to do. Ah, that's what I needed to do. Present, I'm gonna switch these screens over. Holy moly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching the stream and you're trying to do live code streaming, just 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 don't. It's too many screens. Too many it's screens. also we picked Android, don't forget. Also we picked Android. And don't, don't listen, don't use the word we. Uh this was this was uh very much a uh I think we should do Android. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I actually like it though, because I do enjoy that I'm getting the chance to to play with Android a little bit because I haven't done it um ever. Well, I haven't done it in a meaningful way in a long time. Oh, oh okay. I, I got something here. Is it working it, for you? I'm, there, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit that big old play button and see what happens. All right, you do that. I'm going to open this project. Open. Let's grab this from GitHub. Simple calculator. Open. I wonder how long the build's going to take on it. M2. This window. Terminate. Okay. Gradle build is running. Actually, you know what? While my Gradle build is running, I'm really quickly gonna run down the hall to watch. Yeah, it. go, go, because I'm gonna you do that and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get well, this. What, what's oh, gonna sorry. yeah, what's gonna happen is uh that project stuff's gonna load. So if you look in the bottom right, it tells you what's happening. Yeah, in that little bar. So when that's done, you then at the top bar where your play button is, it's gonna have an app and then you're gonna have to hit play and we then it. hopefully it should run through everything. We got it. All right, Vic, go. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, honestly, stream. by the time it's done, you, <laughs> fantastic. 
All right, here we go, folks. So we are here on stream. We're just, we're actually gonna try and add feature flags to like a random project that I found while the stream was going uh, right now. So this is like a simple calculator app. Um, we're gonna see if this works. I hope it does. Um, and also shout out to this simple calculator developer while it's building. Might actually pull that up because it's doing some importing stuff. Uh, so I shared it with um, Vic here, but I'm just gonna pull it up so that we can all see over here. Let me make this a little bit smaller for a second. Yeah, so this is the repo that I found. It's just like simple calculator. So if everything goes well, it looks like they've got a bunch of tools. Um, it should look like this. So we should see this like no ads, like this very pretty calculator, customizing colors and widgets. So we should be able to see that if everything goes according to plan, which it probably won't. We're gonna see. All right, there we go. App is there. App, let's try running this. See if it works. I mean, we're not getting any major errors yet, so that's a good sign. This is good. Things are happening. A Gradle build is running. Good things are, are happening. Good things will be coming down the pipeline I am very excited. If you're watching the stream, we're here on Does It Toggle, where we are figuring out if an Android app does toggle with DevCycle. I think the answer is going to be yes, but it's going to be incredibly complicated to make it happen. Although maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, this is pretty simple. Models, history. I mean, it's a pretty simple... Oh, there we go. All right. Hey, there we go. We got it working. It's up. It's happening. Ha! Vic thought that he was going to be able to go to the washroom faster than my MacBook Pro M1 was going to be able to compile this app. But this is actually, this is nice. I mean, honestly, I, I really want to do something small. So maybe just like hide one of these buttons. History. Settings. More apps. Maybe just hide this. Maybe this is going to be the feature that we're going to try and wrap. Maybe we just want to add like this feature because this, I'm guessing, brings you. Yeah, brings you to this web page. And I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to restart this. I think is what I need to do. I'm just going to like restart this app. And then I want to find. Yeah, I want to find in this where did it restart? Do not disturb. I, this is, I don't need, never need to get an Android app again. All right, let's just stop this and start it again. There you go. Oh, there he is, Vic's back. So Vic, I already had enough time to uh, build this, have it work, uh, and oh. then mess something up. I did, I, I like did a thing that I shouldn't have done here, uh, but yeah, it's working. Nice, yeah, yeah, I got mine working too. So um, I know I, I was wondering, for calculator app, I'm not exactly sure what kind of feature we could be adding or not. Okay, so I was thinking we could just make the number seven be premium only. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Yes. No, so I, so I'm thinking, like, let's just go like super simple. Let's like maybe just like pull out this history feature, and I think like we don't need that. Uh, oh, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. We don't need to pull out the whole thing. We, even just if we're the, just like pulling out the icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So we basically are gonna have to do. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, I know you found the history there. I'm gonna do a little search. That's a good idea, actually. Um, so basically, we're gonna have the main activity. We're gonna find the history. Or that idea. Oh, this is all in Kotlin, so we're gonna be playing a whole new game here for me. Do you want? Do you want to share, or do you want me to share? Or are you just gonna look um, and tell me what to do? Yeah. Why don't you look through and let's? You can tell me what I should be doing in here. Yeah. That's the right decision. One second. So what I'm gonna do. Uh, are you gonna do a search? I feel like that's the right. I thing. found where I want to do it, but I don't know Kotlin is my problem. That's all right. That's why Chat GPT is here for oh, us. Yeah, you're right. Actually, just just GPT it. That's what we're here for. Oh, you're right. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. So I know exactly how we're gonna do this. Um, right, do, do you want to take over screen share? Or do you want me? Yeah, to, yeah. Right, yeah. Let, I'm take, take over screen share and walk you through my thought process. All right, walk me through. All right. So what we're gonna do. Let me share my screen. Uh, you're right. History feature is a good one. Let's do that. Um, we're going to share my screen, window, Android Studio, simple calculator, share. All right, it's teeny tiny for some reason, but um, so I'll, sh in the main activity, I found where the history is. There's this thing that says set up the options menu, right? Um, and so clearly this means when 
this button is clicked, show the history. So I'm going to go, I'm going to command click through and I'm on that layout, which has the history button, right? What I'm going to do by default is I'm going to modify this to split with the history button here. What I'm going to do is make it invisible at first. Oh, uh, I like that. All right, so we, yeah. I like that. I don't know what it is though. Uh, is it? I forget how to what? do this. Is it visibility? Oh, there it is. Uh, false. I think that. Yeah, that did it. So then all I want to do before I even get dev cycle going, I just want to figure out how to make this invisible. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to slap this into chat GPT real quick. Um, and I'll get an answer in two seconds flat one second. Yeah. So I, I will say like, as people are, if you're watching the stream and you're like, ah, oh, developers, I think chat GPT is like the greatest tool for like low level problem solving. It's just this great tool of like, I don't know how to get there or I don't know where to start and you need to work from it. And I find like, G you said this like months ago to me, you're like, I'm using GBT4, I'm paying for it and it's like worth it. And I was like, I'm never gonna pay $20 a month to use this thing. And then I'm like, I will never not be paying to keep chat GPT4. Like, it's just so helpful for these random little coding problems. Oh, this is not the right spot for this. Huh. Show history. Yeah, yeah there, that's the function. That's the function. No, it's just show. I want, do you want to like, either make it like do, I was thinking we wanted to just hide the button. I, I do too. I think we want to hide the button, but maybe if we just like disable, like if we disable that function, that method, is that going to, will that remove it altogether? No, it won't, no. but I do have a thing. Okay. What do you, what do you think? Um, our, uh, cool. I think what we should just be able to do here is Oh man. I love that maybe the simpler thing for us to do would have been to like <laughs> remove like a number. This, this, no, no. So my issue here is um, what we did in the Java side. So this is how old I am. Like I, I was, I stopped coding on, on this stuff before I actually, uh, one second. Yeah, before I actually um, stopped coding is when, right when I stopped coding, uh, for a living is when Kotlin came out. So, okay, cool. I actually think I know how we'll do this. Okay. What uh, are we doing? All right. So let's go down to the history. This is probably not the right place to do it at all. Whatever. Uh, but I think I should be able to do something like this. Did you did you fix what you changed in the XML then, or are you gonna do that after? Uh no 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 no. Um. Oh, I see. Oh no, this isn't gonna work at all. Store so menu dot find item dot is visible equals true. Will this work? All right. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna test this. Do I not have this? Main toolbar. There you go. Um, why not? I don't think this works because it's not expecting this here. Maybe I just do this. Yeah, maybe that works. So uh, if I take this out, if I rebuild the app, technically that history button shouldn't be there. Um, we're just going to rebuild it. And obviously I can feel oh, it's going pretty fast. Damn. There we go. Nice. No history button. Hey, there we go. All right, yeah. cool. So now okay, so what did we actually do there? So main oh, so menu, menu, find what, item. Oh, that was what, awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I did that. And then I just say find item visible truth. So this is what I want. I want uh, this to be a variable now, right? Sick. Yeah. So now let's go set up dev cycle. Um, to do that, we are going to share my entire oh, screen. On. Let me, yeah, let me, uh, let me put us over here because we're going to be in the CLI, right? Nope. I'm doing this uh, not in the CLI because I have to install dev cycle now into the application, right? Oh, I see. So right. that I haven't figured out how to do from the CLI yet to like auto generate and auto install. So fair enough. But yeah, uh, here, let me uh, share my whole screen give me one second i mean i will say like if we can do this we started this like five minutes ago i think i'll be able to, to this, pull this off i think i will be able to this is like the fact that you can just go and find a random project to add dev cycle into like this is kind of the the power of this of this tool of like that quick and i mean yeah. not everything but 
Uh, hold on. Sorry, I didn't stream my whole screen here. I'm sorry. Show, stop screen, present, share screen, share screen, entire screen. All right, let's do this. Cool. We can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Sick. Uh, here, let's go to Arc. We're going to go over Dev Cycle. Uh, we're just going to now. So this is this is funny. This is how I would do this. Um, whether or not this is going to work, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to say uh, show history, show history, show history. Um, we're just going to create that. What's really cool? I'm going to go down to the code sample, and something we actually have here is the installation instructions directly here. So I should be able to just do this in my build .gradle. So let's do that. Um, we're going to open up build.gradle for the app. We're going to add. I think we the... might, if this works, we should add a PR to this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. to this uh, we should find it. I should add a feature and then PR it then. Yeah, I love that. All right. Uh, okay, we're just going to use plus. Okay, cool. So we now should have dev cycle. So we're just going to rebuild. Um, and then. I'm gonna, it's not the right place to do it, but I think I'm just gonna do it here that's, anyway. That's right. um, we're gonna do, it's not building yet. Let's go here, no. Um, let me do this here, dev cycle. No, uh, yeah. see client. oh, it's there. Nice, that would, this is, like you're keeping up, man. I'm surprised. Like we got streams running, everything's working. A DVC client. Cool. And now we're gonna set up the DVC client. So uh, we have to do it before we set the menu up. So we'll do this right here. This will be. So now we go back over here. Sample usage. Um, yeah, so I literally should, I should just be able to copy literally this. Yeah. Um, DVC client. All right, cool. Let's try this. Uh, oops. Just this is what I want. I got to change this to be easier. We're going to initialize the client. See if no complaints. Cool. It's complaining. We're going to do that. Um, we're just going to say, I created a DVC client, right? Yeah. yeah. It, why is this not liking this? Huh? There you go. Really? In, oh no. Does it not like that? Like, I not. What? Did it not, did it not mind if I, I, okay, whatever. We'll just do it this way. Screw it. But how do I not, cause I want gonna... this. How do I set this, right? EVC. It's cause you're not pulling it inside. Is that what it oh. is? Oh. You're not pulling it into the on create or oh yes i'm trying to just do this right just come grab a call an expert over here okay there we go cool test user import i have to get my actual key we're using your streamer mode so it didn't pull in that key uh okay cool oops we should be able to do this now um, all right on initialize okay we don't care about this to be honest Just thinking about how i'm going to do this now yeah that's fair we don't need that uh right? yeah we don't in fact because now we're going to go down to where we're doing history so i have my client so i should just be able to make my variable here determine the visibility on the fly so we're going to do this I'm going to say use feature variable ba, 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 ba. you're just going to wrap that right you're just going to pull that if else statement yeah, pretty much. Show history false. Yes, yeah, we'll just copy this over here. We could make it its own function, but eh. who cares? Pool, easy callback. I think this is deprecated, but we should live. Should be fine, even if it's deprecated. I have to update that. Okay, why are we getting an error in the variable value? Uh, or, we this is not error. Not an error. Not an error. Uh, it's just. This should work actually. Oh no, because there's nothing here, right? Ah, so yeah. what I'm gonna do here uh, is rather than doing this, what we're gonna do is set in is visible to variable value. Ah, smirt. Variable value. The other thing we're gonna do is see if we can make that happen in real time. Okay. 
You're seeing it here live, folks. This is great. Like we're doing this in, and when I, I use the term we very, uh, very, um, uh, Oh, we uh, are getting a problem here. This is copied right in. Why can't I do this? Oh, I think it's cause there we go. And let's just make sure setup options menu happens after you said that it was after. Yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure about that. Okay. It is. Okay. So the yeah. client should be set up here. All right. Build uh, it. I think I should wait for on, on initialize, but I think the on update callback should solve for that. I think I have one more error. Yes, I do. It's Boolean. Okay, cool. It should not, it should never be no. Oh, the, I'm getting the value, not the variable. Um, actually let's just do that then rather than, ah, no, that should be fine. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. Uh, it should technically show, I think. And you have default set to on right now? Ye oh, no, I have default set to off, but no, technically no, no, no. I'm yeah. initializing it and everything. So yeah, yeah. it should technically work. See what happens. If it doesn't break, then that's a win. Yeah, that's a really good point. If it doesn't crash. Oh, great. Oh, Out of memory man. error. Oh, that's me. That's my laptop right there. There we go. You knew it was going to happen eventually, right? It was going to happen eventually. Oh, there we Same go. Thing. Only safe or non asserted. Wait, come on. Give me that. Give me the error. Oh, my God. Is that the last error? There's another error somewhere. Where's that error? What's going on? Oh, it's on? right there. Variable dot on update where it's deprecated. There's like the errors right there. Oh, right. Variable yeah. question. I think that's it. Let's see if All I right. Ram. No errors yet. Nope. Java heat again. All right. So if, I can just case paste scenarios, this You can yeah paste this to me and then I'll run it on mine. Wow, um, that's crazy. You know what? I'm just gonna restart Android Studio now, completely. Um, we're gonna close that, force quit this. We're gonna get rid of everything <laughs> that I could possibly have running here. Get rid of this, because look, we got uh, like 10 minutes and I think we can actually do this. I love this. This is like, this is the dream. This. See if this works. Because te technically, I would have like a feature manager and whatnot. I wouldn't be putting it directly raw where I'm putting it. But... Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, I feel like at this point, like we're really just getting it in there and using the sample code too, right? Like this is not you having to go and basically. Yeah, I, didn't code it. I, I had to do. I had to do these question marks because I yeah. initialized the client, like because I don't understand Kotlin, so I did it this way. Because so that means the client itself can technically be null allegedly. So yeah. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, it should just be building and going and see what happens. There we go. All right. Nice. Drum roll. Okay, so it should hey, ah! see how it, it showed up after. So that's good. So that that could be pre prevented, like the flicker. But now, uh, this is really funny. I'm just going to do this right in the terminal here. Do it from the CLI. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Now, now we're back to the CLI. Uh, where is the terminal? Oh, there it is. Um, oh, I have to do this is cool. Uh, so basically, I'm going to do repo init. Um, and that's going to set me up. I'm going to auth into this. Okay. We're going to do DVC internal, which is going to auth me into my organization. Done. That page is about to get an update, so it's not just that. Uh, cool. DVC project select. We're going to go select my, I think it was just empty project, which is no longer true. Um, cool. Let's try to turn this off and see if it disappears. I don't think that's how it works, but who knows? Who knows? Let's see what happens. Maybe uh, you're a much better programmer than you think you are. Disable. We're just going to disable history. Where are we going? Hey! Worked. This is Check awesome. this out. Is that yeah, back on? Yeah, let's turn this uh, feature back on. Let me just make this a little bigger here. So, yeah, let's, uh, cool, let's turn on the. Turn on the show history, enable, uh, yeah, show history for development. It's that easy, hey. folks. It's Bam. that easy. Like, that, <laughs> and that now, is anytime, under 10. Yeah, and anytime now, if anybody wants to make a new feature in here, they can just wrap it behind a feature flag like that, and their main, only they'll be able to see it. So. They got a lot of, they got a lot of apps actually. I don't know if you saw like that company, <laughs> that like simple calculator, they got a bunch of stuff and they got to be rolling out new features. So yeah. and that was so, super easy. Obviously here, what I would normally do is have, you know, not so ugly code, but 
it is what it is for now. It actually worked. I'm pretty impressed by that. Oh, All that's right. really cool. Do you want to throw that? Throw that my way. I'm going to, we got, we got about 10 minutes left, five minutes left. I want to see if I can get this in here, but if you could throw me that code, it's just in main activity, right? Uh, yeah. And it, the uh, menu.xml. All right. I turn it off. Actually, yeah. technically you don't have to change the menu.xml. Well, yeah, we want it to not show it first, essentially. So, so here's the thing. Just throw me, throw me the code for the main activity and I'm just yeah, going to yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to go. Oh, there's uh, one other thing you have to do. Um, you also have to do the build.gradle and implement. Uh, yes. Okay. So throw me this first and then yeah. I'm going to. Um, where am I selling this to? Oh, the chat, right. Okay. Let me stop sharing now. Cool. Um, okay, wait, this, uh, no, it doesn't let me have send you that much text. That's right, uh, just do it in Slack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a snippet, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's not, is no, that right? That worked, yeah, that worked. Oh, that yeah, is it, it. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me just grab uh, that. So that's that, and then. All right. In your build.gradle, the app build.gradle, what you want yep. to do is uh, add this line with the other implementations. You should see that. Uh, build.gradle. Come on. There we go. And I'm adding. At the very okay. bottom, there's a thing that says dependencies. Yeah. All right. Let me grab that. All right. And I'm going to share now. Let me get my screen share up again. Present. Share screen. Share screen. Entire screen. Uh, I think it's this one. Share drag this over and get back into Android Studio. And then the so, last thing is... Hold on, uh, hold on. So yeah. where am I putting this? Right in here, implement Ah, dependency. Yeah, right there. Yeah. All right, yeah. awesome. And then the last thing is uh, you're going to open up just... Uh, I just did... Uh, actually, open up the main activity and then go over to where history is and then... Oh, here we go. History, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, in the main activity where all the dev cycle stuff is, it's where all, oh. the, er it's all where all the errors are because we haven't built yet. Um, yeah, so uh, hi where it says r.history, just do command click on r.history down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there bam, we go. And bring it right to it. Now go to the code and then just set, yeah, visible false on the history. Done. Just enter. No, no, no. Good undo, lord. Undo. What did undo. you just do? Undo, undo, undo. Oh my god. Whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Time. Enter. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Keep that. That's the title. It just enter. Oh, Android. Android. Visible. Yeah, visible. Yeah. And then equals false. Yeah. Okay. Done. Uh, let's build that. Stop. Uh, it's not going to build, I don't think. It's not even going to let you build it. Uh, you have to hit the little ele elephant over there on the top right. It has a little elephant with a down arrow on it. On the elephant top right. with a down arrow. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's uh, what that'll do is it. Set, like, because we added the thing to the Gradle. Now it's saying, hey, import dev cycle. See, oh, there it is. Oh, got it. All right, there we go. Uh, so right. now, uh, wait, do you want to use, or you're going to be using my uh, feature. I'll send you a link. That's right. I know. I'm going to switch it. Uh, I'm going to switch it to switch mine. Mo mobile key and then create a feature called show history. Yeah. Well, yep. let's build it first and make sure it works. I'll toggle on my side and see if it, it's live on yours then. Sick. Yeah. All right. We're going to, oh, holy moly. It even hit that error on mine that's wild uh actually it's because the phone itself is going to be out of memory the emulator we didn't apply enough uh, ram to it just restart android studio it'll take a couple seconds oh right, okay well no it didn't build Let me try it one, i'll try one more time it's not gonna build you don't think so there we go nope. it did okay well look at this guy uh, no history. Okay, cool. Give me a second. Let's see if it works on my side. Oh, you have history. Okay, let me turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. Ready? Cool. All right. Survey says... Survey says something's wrong with your system. I swear to God. It should yeah. be off. Oh, wait. No, I'm on. I'm not on the right thing here, am I? One second. Did you copy? Yeah, I copied over with the right stuff there. Did you? That's a good question because it should be. I don't know why your live updates aren't working, but mine aren't. Maybe it's in like a connectivity thing. Uh, it might be. I might not actually be. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm Android not actually is. connected to the internet. No, but you wouldn't be able to have got the config before. Um, that's fair, but that's good. I mean, at the end of the day, that's just good to know that that's what we're it trying, is. I'm trying the CLI because it seems to have been working in the CLI, right? Yeah. Let's try that real quick. No, I think it's I think it's an issue with my. Yeah. 
Because it yeah. worked. We saw it work on mine, no problem. We did. It was working on yours. I think it's an issue that I'm just not. Oh, seeing. I know. I know why. Why? Oh, never mind. I forgot you're in a different time zone. Uh, that's really weird. Can you go to Logcat? I'm just curious. Where am I going for that? Oh, Logcat. Logcat there we log. go. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, you do have problems. Let me get it here. Realtimeably.io, no address associated with host name. Interesting. Yeah, so that's an so issue. Your, my it is an issue in your, yeah, because that is the real time updates not working for you. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, that that's an issue on my end. So, so yeah, like it should be working, folks. And I mean, what what we can do here is like if I refresh this now, it's off, right, on your end. Like you. Turn uh, it off. wait. Let me know. It's on right now. Let me turn it off. Oh, uh, oh yeah, go. it should be off. Yeah, it's off now. Um, yeah, and I mean, honestly, like uh, uh, since this is like GUI versus uh, uh, GUI versus UI, I mean, let's look at how quick this is to to kind of do over here in uh, in the. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, so many windows, and I hate open the right way let's go back over to live with Vic all right let's grab this and instead we're going to create a new feature here so we already created a new feature we're going to create a new uh live with Vic we're going to create a new variation variable, yeah. called a new va uh, variable yes that's what I that's what I that's what I said uh, no you're there add variable right there. oh my god all right there we go perfect all right and let's call this one calculator History, awesome. Set it as a Boolean, awesome. Oh, calculator history, set it all as true. Variation all false. Calculator history. Let's add that variable. All right, let's head back over to Android Studio. Let's head back into here. Go back into our main activity and let's find out that BBC key. There we go. Let's throw first off our, what did you call it, history? Show history. Oh, show history. It's supposed to be show dash history. Show dash history. So let's throw mine in there. Oh, you said right. I call it calculator history. Yeah, I called it something different. And then let's head back over. Uh, did you get your uh, key? You put in. No, I need to grab my key. Oh, why are you shifting like you should be? All right, let's go back over here. And let's grab our key again. Easiest place to grab it is right here. Oh, no, that's my curl. Change that to Kotlin. Grab that. All right. And da -da -da -da, let's go DBC mobile so it should be going right in here let's grab that and awesome so if i save that and rebuild uh what do you have it set to on i think i have it set to on so we should be seeing it nope maybe i have it set to yeah i have it set to on so there's something going on here let's see dbc mobile that's right that's the development key that's the dev key Make sure I got that in the right space. Did I have it set to on? Oh, it's because it's going full screen. Oh, I think uh, I know. Uh, yeah, go back to dev cycle real quick. Yeah, so I think we're set to. So oh, I didn't your... save. I didn't save. Uh, there we go. So calculator history should be on as my default for everybody. Oh, no, variation off everybody. Let's change the variation on. Oh, right. You said that's that, what yeah. it was because I had it on my other. All right, yeah, so you're, now uh, if I rebuild this, I should be. Yeah. It's weird you're not getting real time. I want to take your logs after and see. Yeah. Hey, it's like, look at that. So it's working. All right. So I mean, I think GUI CLI it works. I honestly, after seeing it today in action, like I think like even just in Mac, which so many of us are developing on, that like window shift back and forth yeah. and like, two screens. Like this is wild. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, uh, th this, is this is cool. So we were able to do, so not only in this stream, we were able to try out um, co-screen, which worked. Uh, we were able to get two versions on two different Macs working we we're able to get a brand new app that we never touched before today in kotlin which is a language that neither of us really know we were able to add a feature <laughs> flag to it really really quickly um so so cool vic this is like this is the most like real true live coding that i think has happened here on the dev cycle um twitch channel I didn't, I didn't even code that much, but I did more today than I have in the last few months. So there we I'm, go. I, I'm normally, I'm normally in the background updating Gradle files and stuff and I'm actually writing code. So I love that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so folks, we're, uh, we're going to have to jump off of here in just a couple of minutes. Um, but, uh, for all those who tuned in, thank you so much for checking out. Does it toggle CLI versus GUI? I think it is a, a hard win for our CLI today and also like a hard win for the M2 MacBook Air. Um, it, it, it kept up, like it kept up across the board today. Um, 
Yeah, I'm super, I'm super excited. Vic, you've set a high standard now for having a guest on the stream. So like engineers that I'm going to be inviting to these streams, watch out uh, because uh, because now you're going to have to deliver, you're going to have to deliver on some stuff that we find live on stream. Um, yeah, and, uh, and this is a lot of fun. So uh, Vic, if you could share kind of one like top tip for using the the CLI, what would it be for anybody that, that's looking to try it out today? I would say just go in and do it. Uh, all the docs are there, the help functions are there. It's really simple, easy to use. Um, I would say that like doing it that way is so much cleaner because as you're writing your code and making your feature flags, you can just create the toggle right there. You don't have to do it way later. You can literally just say, hey, I just made this. Let's turn it on and let's set this up. You can get as advanced as you want. You can do all the crazy targeting. You can do everything, but uh, at a base level, that just to get off the ground and getting started with DevCycle, I would say like it's actually a great place to start. Um, if even if you haven't used DevCycle or feature flagging yet, if you're dev and you just hate dashboards, you can just literally sign up directly from the CLI. If you try to log in and you sign up, you can just start from there. You never need to touch this. Uh, never touch that. Never touch our GUI again. If you love our GUI, if you love our UI, then use it. Um, our, our our dashboard developers will love you, but also our CLI developers will love you too. So um, if you have watched the stream and you're like, oh my God, this was amazing. I so loved watching Vic and Andrew mess around and try out new tech. That is really what this stream is all about. Um, this stream happens monthly, uh, like second Friday of every month, then it'll probably shift times. Um, we'll have lots of guests on here, lots of new technologies. Um, there'll be clips of this that I share. Um, if you're just interested in new tech, I'm super excited to announce a brand new stream yet to be named. Uh, but I guess the kind of core concept here is going to be like sort of this month in dev tools, where we're going to look at some really cool dev tools that are out there that you should check out. I have a feeling Arc might feature there. It's not really a dev tool, but like I have a feeling based on who my co-host is going to be for that stream um, that Arc may feature very heavily um yeah and you will get to meet i'm not gonna tell you who my co-host is gonna be yet i'm gonna leave that as a surprise when we start streaming that might be next week it might be next month i haven't really decided yet but definitely in two weeks we're gonna be back here for our feature focus um where i'm gonna have a brand new host that you've never seen before a brand new guest from one of our engineering teams is gonna be joining me um so thank you so much to everybody for watching today thank you for hanging out with us as we um play around with some really cool features of DevCycle. Uh, we really, really appreciate you being part of our community. And speaking of which, don't forget to check us out on uh, Discord. Uh, you can find us at um, bit.ly uh, slash DevCycle Discord. Um, you can also find us on Twitter and threads and all of the other spaces. Um, but uh, with all that said, I don't want to take up any more of anybody's time. I want you to all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and see you around the DevCycle community. Bye, everybody.